Here's another question from one of our viewers who was having a difficult time using construction standard lumber to lay out their stairway. And if the stairway needs to fit within a certain measurement, like four foot seven inches or 55 inches, which is what we have here, five 11 inch treads, then you might need to get a little creative with your materials and, and even more creative if you can't resize some of these composite materials that might look funky if you ripped them down. And that's exactly what we did here. We have an 11 inch tread from the front of the step to the back of the step with two eighth inch gaps in between. This is for a deck. This might not be something you need to do on the interior. So let's go ahead and take a look at the measurements, what we're dealing with to make the 11 inch step work. So we had to cut the two by six down to five and three eighths inches so that we could end up with an 11 inch step with two eighth of an inch gaps in that step. However, if you have more room and the stairway can be a little longer, then lay out the stringers accordingly. So instead of using an 11 inch step, we're going to use an 11 and a quarter inch step. And that's going to allow us to use construction standard lumber, five and a half inches wide with an eighth of an inch gap, five and a half inches, and then another eighth of an inch gap. And if your materials are a little shorter or longer, you will need to make the necessary adjustments before laying out your stair stringer to make sure everything is going to work properly. And there are a few more things you can do if you want to, you feel comfortable doing, and that would be to install everything tight. However, for exterior stairs, this doesn't always work out well. Another will be to add a nosing and then leave a gap, don't leave a gap, and then use those measurements when you're laying out your stair stringer. Now we're still at an 11 inch step for our stringer layout, even though we have a nosing that's projecting out one inch. And the last one on the list will be to use a full length piece of lumber, like a two by 12 or even a two by 14 ripped down or a two by 14 where you would compensate for the measurement when you're laying out your stringers. And you can see here where the tread depth for the stringer in this example is 11 inches. And that's going to provide us with a five eighths of an inch overhang. And you can see that better over here. Let's go ahead and zoom in over here where we have a five eighths of an inch overhang, 10 and seven eighths inches over here with an eighth inch gap. And I would definitely recommend using a gap when you're working with construction standard lumber or other materials that could create a moisture problem and then that could lead to termite damage or wood rot. I say could. Remember, there are going to be other parts of the stairway touching each other. You're not going to be able to do anything about like where the tread connects to the stringer or where the tread sits on top of the riser. And hopefully this video helps you and other viewers. If it does, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or leaving a nice comment in the comment area. And if there are any questions related to this video, feel free to leave those in the comment area also.